Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we have another Is This Pistol Still Relevant video. It's been a month since I did the last one. I love this series. The viewer feedback is incredible and I love that interaction. So I've got a good one today. It may get the thought process moving in your head. The last one I did featured the Rock Island Tac Ultra 9mm slash 22 TCM combination. And I love 1911s. A lot of people love 1911s. But the question was, will they enjoy the 22 TCM as much? Being that the ammo is kind of hard to find. Arms Corps is the only company that makes it. It's a bit different. And then with all of the firearms coming out in 5.7 by 28 millimeter. The ammo manufacturers have responded to that, and they have upped it. Now Fiocchi makes it. Now Palmetto State Armory makes it. We know that Federal and others make 5.7 by 28 millimeter, not with 22 TCM. And so what does that do? That raises the cost. It's a bottleneck round. It uses the same mags as the 9 millimeter. It's just not as easy to come by. And you pretty much are set. To order it online and most of the feedback I got was people saying well I love 1911s but I would not choose that one because 22 TCM cool round too hard to get too expensive most people say I want my 1911s in 45 ACP so that is the feedback that I have received but this one may take you back a little bit because it's different. Nobody would expect me to feature this, but I'm going to feature it anyways. And before you say, how dare you speak of an HK like that? How dare you even put that in front of our eyes and say, is it still relevant? Let me first ask you, why did HK put this handgun on a limited production? Because that's what they did. They put the HK USP Expert on limited adduction. Written production and not the USP but the expert model with the 5.2 inch barrel so here we've got a HK USP expert with the 5.2 inch barrel it is a big handgun but there are some things here that are not so much user friendly let's take a look at it first thing is the price you're looking at between 15 and 1600 dollars for this when I did my reviews, people said I would choose something over that for that kind of money, perhaps a 2011. Because this here also has 15 round mags. Now they all they make 18 round mags. But in order to do that, I would have to get what they call a jet funnel that would extend the grip so the 18 round mags would fit flush. All right? So that's not a benefit. That's an extra cost. Another thing is that they have this universal mounting rail. Sounds cool, makes it seem like there's a lot you can do with it to mount, but another thing that you have to buy separately because you would have to put a pick rail onto the universal mounting system. You have to buy the pick rail. Handguns now come with pick rails and the most, at least an accessory rail, which is a one slot. So that's not great. You add up the cost and everything else. You're like, what's going on? Now, the gun itself is very cool. Very accurate. Nice shooting gun. Beautiful single action trigger right at four pounds. Reset. You have the trigger guard magazine release that is ambidextrous. You have the thumb safety that is ambidextrous. Sweep down. You got the decocker there. You've got the slide stop that is not ambidextrous, but it is a very workable slide stop even has that rubber ring on the muzzle end of the barrel serrated black sights both in the rear and the front a lot of people say i love that handgun but why did hk put it on limited production i think it's because it wasn't selling and the model that is available and being produced right now is the 4.25 inch model of this so you basically take it down to about right here and that's the model of the usp that they are selling and that is expensive but not as expensive as this one fifteen hundred dollars people would pass on this in the new york second and so it not optic ready it's available with 15 round mags 
in 18 round mags and some, it's available in 45. Is this still relevant or is it irrelevant? I don't care if you're an HK fan or not. You have to ask yourself, do I want a universal mounting rail? Do I want 15 round mags? Do I want to pay that kind of money without a optic system? So that's the question today. I think it's a fair question. It's a cool gun. Love owning it. <clears throat> I got it for a steal used in like new condition but if i had an extra fifteen hundred dollars laying around i probably would not buy this so like i I'm, I'm, don't even have to say probably it's pretty certain i would not buy this but what i really want to know is what would you do and is this pistol still relevant if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe